Okay, so welcome everyone. So I hope that you had a nice lunch and so we can start our next session. So first of all, I am uh, Diana Markovic and uh, one part of my identity is that I'm a journalist and also a coordinator of uh, youth magazine, which is multilingual and, and it's called uh, Pulse of the Youth. And uh, that's the boring part because we all, all hear uh, the word boring so much this day. <laughs> But the fun part is that I really, really, really love red color, as you can see. So I'm really matching with the wall, but it's just a, an occasion. So, um, but enough about me. I'm here to inform you about uh, our next topics in this event. So, um, I will be more than pleased to tell you something about uh, next presentations, which will be about diversity. So, uh, first of all, I would like to um, introduce our uh, colleagues, uh, Anna Yashkova. She is the deputy of uh, deputy editor in chief of RTV2 here, Radio Television Vojvodina in Serbia. A second program. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so Mar M Marcus Nikel, he is a senior independent consultant at Rai Cultura from Italy. And we have uh, Daniela Drastata, she's editor, uh, producer in uh, HRT Croatia and chairwoman of the EBU Intercultural and Diversity Group. So, so many nice people here, thank you. So, um, we imagine this as a conversation which will flow, of course, and you all can uh, be engaged into, the, into it. So, um, as you can see uh, on the screen, uh, we have a project called FACES. So maybe we can uh, open it, open the subject, and you can maybe ta tell us something more about it. Okay? Thank yes. you. Yes, it's my pleasure, and I'm really honored and very happy to be here in a conference of regional broadcasters, um, because I think diversity is, of course, your daily bread. Uh, we, are, we are in a situation where diversity has become very important. Uh, this morning, the first speaker made it one of the 50 ways to be better. Um, to have a focus on diversity because diversity is, is, at stage, is at stake. We are very diverse in our societies increasingly. The world is going global and diversity is around the corner everywhere. And probably public media, if anybody, have a big mission to, to support the, the healthy development and the healthy cohabitation of very diverse people as we are, everybody is. So what I wanted to talk about, uh, and what we, I think, are supposed to talk about is how to, how to work on diversity, how to be diversely maybe producing things that help to make diversity great again, uh, to take a slogan that has been used uh, in, in another context very often recently. So um, the project I want to talk uh, to you is diverse in, in, in all these kinds, in the sense that it's, it's of course, uh, focusing on diversity, but it's also diversely, diversely produced. Um, my work with RAI, but not only with RAI, also with other broadcasters, uh, is about coordinating projects uh, that have been produced together by uh, different broadcasters from different countries. Uh, we call it collections. Uh, collections are meant to be series uh, based on a common uh, approach, a common format, a Bible, uh, but also on real cooperation between colleagues living in different countries, faraway places, uh, with different, of course, also broadcasting traditions and different broadcasting needs. So we have all the problems of diversity. We are diverse, but we have to do things together. That is something which I think is, is very crucial uh, in talking about diversity as a media uh, professional. We, I think we have to, or sometimes it's really helpful to, to, to be in a diverse context to make good, uh, a good program about it. So FACE is the, the program I, um, I, I want to, do, to show you a little bit. Um, it's, a, it's a project that has been brought to European broadcasters, to the European Broadcasting Union by the Japanese broadcaster NHK. Uh, and NHK uh, is an associate member of the EBU, and, and um, so they, 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 they are reg regularly also participating in conferences and, and co-production projects. Uh, they came to us and they said, well, we have a really huge problem in, in Japan. It's about bullying, being bullied. We have high suicide rates of youngsters who don't want to go to school anymore and sometimes even 
commit suicide because they are not uh, being treated fairly by their, by, their, by, their, by their mates. And this is a drama. Well, we have to say it's the same in Europe. We have problems in Italy. We had suicides. We have this sort of issues, I would say, in all industrialized com uh, countries. And we have it strongly also related to the use of uh, uh, mobile digital devices, as you all know. So the question was, can we do something together? The first idea was, maybe we can exchange our programs, but we quite soon managed uh, to understand that this was not probably the best way to work together because, as you know, we are very diverse and you cannot easily use the same sort of stuff in, diverse, in, in, different, in a different uh, broadcasting context. The graphics are different, the storytelling is not necessarily the same. So what the first, uh, the first process uh, uh, element was that we had to, to talk about what can we do and how can we develop a format that could work easily and also, I must say, cheaply produced in all, in all our countries. And the idea was to produce uh, testimonies, a series of interviews, but not only interviews, also portraits of people who survived being bullied. Have you so, succeeded in that, actually? Because you have a clear structure how the story will, um, will have to be prepared and filmed. Yes. So we, we, we developed a Bible. This was being done in workshops. One was held in Berlin, one was held in Tokyo. Uh, later, we had other workshops also taking place in Latin America because what we did was we involved the broadcasting associations in the various regions. We have uh, contacts with a, a Latin American broadcasting association. In, the, in Europe, we, we worked with the EBU. We spread the message. We made a call. And in the Mediterranean with Copiam, which is an association of, of um, uh, Mediterranean broadcasts on either side of the Mediterranean, so also Arab uh, countries being part of this. And the idea was so to, to, to create and use the associations in order to make a common project, develop a common format, work together, and make it work. I, I would, would like to, to say this was a, a, a strong experience because uh, we, had, uh, we, had, uh, um, we had to come together to, on something that was easily to be produced and could work in very diverse contexts. I would like to show you the, the, the one of the many uh, two-minute clips that have been produced, and it has been produced by our colleagues from uh, uh, television here in Vojvodina. And I'm thankful, very thankful to uh, my colleagues uh, Radislav and Sonia, who have taken uh, uh, responsibility to, to do that. Um, so let's... Let's show the clip. So I started to go to my family. My parents and my parents didn't want to go to me. My parents were with me and said to me da se idu sa mnom u razred, da idu u druge škole. Slike mi mi znači puno, jer kad sam bila mala, uvijek sam dolazila u plakane kući i onda jedino rješenje mi je bilo da sedam i da uzmem četkice noge i da slikam. Prvi dan škole je počelo sa ruganjem. Govorili su mi da nemam ruke, da imam jednu ruku, drugu nemam. Dolazila sam u plakana kući i tražila sam od mami da mi da svoje ruke. I onda je naravno mama rekla da može da bi mi dala, ali ne može i da dignem glavu gori i da idem samo naprijed. Poslije toga sam počela da treniram tekvando, po drugi put sam državna prvakinja i vice šampijan Evrope. Treniram godinu dana, kod trenera Aleksandra Zbrojarskog. Sada bi skojimala sebi, uglavnom, Imam tamo lutku, to jest bob, tako mi nazivamo, i šutam na ogama dok sam svi bez i stresam na njega. Učiteljica je bila uz mene. Posle učiteljice je naravno razredna, ali uglavnom mama je tu uvijek bila podrška najveća, ali ona bi je godrila i govorila je ono što volim da radim, da radim. Izrasla sam u devojku koja sebe vidi sa krilima. Treba imati svoj cilj i veliku volju, a bez volje nema uspjeha, a ja sam uspjela i kao sportista i kao umjetnik. So they are currently about... Yeah, great. Great work. 
There are currently about 25 broadcasters all over the world uh, participating and it's still growing. So if you are interested to be part of this, uh, please make yourself heard and let me know. I would connect you to the coordination team in Tokyo. And what is, I think, great about it, we, we, we have a very easy or simple means, but you can use it very flexibly. It is, of course, uh, useful as a filler uh, uh, in, in a program dedicated to the topic. Uh, it can be a contribution. It, can, it is online. And of course, uh, our target audience are young people um, and the community, the parents and the teachers who may take inspiration from that. So people tell you how they survived this. And they, they are from all over the world in very uh, different situations, but with the same issue. So I think what really is important also is to find a universal topic that you can do together within your diversity and, and allowing for diversity and promoting diversity. Uh, which I think is, is, is very important. Maybe we can continue with Anna because uh, okay, you, are, uh, you yes. are also broadcasting faces. Of course. Uh, actually, I have a question for you. <laughs> for me? Yeah, because we uh, here talked all about uh, our target groups and uh, about youngsters and how do we approach them. So can you tell me something about that by your experience? Uh, I could start with the faces because we are actually part of the, this mm -hmm. team and uh, thank you for it. We had an opportunity uh, to train our uh, journalists in this uh, short documentary form, which I think is a great symbiosis between uh, web and linear broadcasting. And this is how we gain uh, and reach our target group. And uh, those are youngsters, young audience because in RTV diversity is something we are very proud of, but unfortunately the forms, the production, and uh, uh, the way we are uh, placing our, our media content, it was uh, not very modern. So uh, we found out that the young people are not watching it. So also faces and also the project I will talk about later is the way to reach the young people that are actually the future because there is no uh, diversity has no meaning if we don't reach somebody who will live it and uh, who, who will be the actually the yeah target audience of all of it thank you daniela would you like something to add uh, well, uh, I know this project and I like it very much and I know Marcus for many years because uh, we have been working together on uh, different co-productions that are done under the umbrella of EBU, Diversity and Intercultural Group. And that group is known for um, its uh, work uh, um, on diversity when it comes to theory. We do different... Uh, uh, guidelines or uh, toolkits how to do uh, how, how to cover diversity and human rights issues uh, from a perspective that we think it's important we also do some trainings on unconscious bias but for last 20 years we are known for co-productions and that's what brings together different broadcasters from Europe to try to produce a high quality program for not such a big money because diversity departments are usually not very popular within broadcasters. We do not have a lot of money, so we work a lot uh, on this principle, just make one film and broadcast all. But to, make, to, to achieve this high quality, we have a really strong figure of uh, executive producer and we have very clear uh, guidelines, you say Bible, uh, how, how to do the project and the project that we are very proud of and that I would like to present shortly today uh, is called New Neighbors. Uh, we started to think about it in 2016 and then we produced the first season in 2017 and it's about, uh, it's a documentary series, uh, 25 minutes long, uh, about new neighbors and those new neighbors are refugees, asylum seekers, asylum holders because uh, we were thinking about uh, all, all these people passing through Serbia, through Croatia to reach Sweden or Germany and how uh, all the news are full um, with numbers 
and we were just talking about how many people lost their lives, how many people are passing through. So it was numbers, 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 and we wanted to hear some stories and to see uh, how do you challenge this idea of multiculturalism when it comes to the very basic things. And this basic thing is how do you see your neighbor? Would you like to accept him or not? And how does it feel to become a new neighbor? And uh, last year, uh, we applied for some EU money and uh, we got it. We were quite surprised we managed with it. We got one mil more than one million euro for the whole project. And now we have nine broadcasters who are producing these half an hour documentaries. And we work together with four international uh, non-governmental civil society organizations like Community Media Forum Europe, uh, Media Diversity Institute from London, Community Media Institute for Training, and so on. So uh, it's not only about production, it's also about uh, engaging uh, as many uh, refugees as possible to, uh, to train them, to do journalism, to do community media, and maybe once to d diversify our uh, people behind the, the camera. So I would like to show a little summary from uh, the first season. I think uh, from Dutch and Croatian documentary just to, to give you an idea how does it look like. Okay, I will ask the guys to play the video. Can you? Ciao, dragi not mei. that. <laughs> Bravo, društvo. Ahojte, kamarad. Okay, not, that, not one. that one. You go <laughs> to the one. folder <laughs> called Daniela and yeah. you find it there. Do you have it? <laughs> Okay, let me, let me tell you that nine mm -hmm. broadcasters that are participating this season are from uh, Netherlands, Germany, Spain, Portugal, Italy, uh, Croatia, Slovenia, Czech Republic. Uh, and uh, it's really not easy to work together because uh, we have completely different styles and completely different ideas how to, how to do it. But then when it comes to uh, stories that, uh, that have uh, powerful characters and, and powerful stories, it works. This one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's watch. Beste mevrouw meneer, we willen u graag informeren over de komst van nieuwe buurtbewoners. En vanaf 1 november komen daar 22 vergunninghouders te wonen. Nou, daar komen ze te wonen, aan de overkant. Dus heel vlakbij. Je weet niet eigenlijk wat voor mensen het zijn. Ze kunnen zich alsnog ontpoppen als terroristen. Dat weet je nooit. Wat is er allemaal? Ik heb een kroon met een kroon. Daar zijn ze gelopen. Crnci. Communicatie niet bestaat. Crni. Die zijn crni. Dat is kost 10 dollar. Dat is kost 10 dollar op het podium van de kosten. Улица не е промет. Тие не толи улица. Нема тој дучан, нема ништо. Значи сакам да купувам улица, ми се знаме. И еден кога се деси ситуација, идеш својо улица, ако не си својо улица, некој друг го си држи. Hello. Hello. Hoe gaat het? Hi, goed. Ik ben Bila. Ik ben Jose. Welkom. Hallo. Kom Bina. Ja. Hoe lang zit je hier nu? Hier in de week. Oh. Ja, ik heb jou nog niet voorbij zien komen. Ja. Ja. Ja, ze hebben door de stoel een communicatie. Ja, ze hebben begonnen te zeggen. Kan u als je mooie kuchu, als je het wilt, kan je het niet proberen. Als je mooie kuchu, kan je het proberen. Maar dan gaan we straks weer. Nee, maar ik denk. Nee, kom maar eens hier. Dan ga ik hier opstaan met mijn kuchu. Completely different. This is the opposite in Africa. They think they should welcome you as long as you come from a far, far place to come to Africa. They should show you the culture. Sometimes they will organize a big party for you or a dance so that you see African dance. You know, you don't see that here. You know. But I understand this is different cultures. You know, like 
doesn't mean they are bad, but they are reserved, you know. Ja, in het begin uh, denk je, wat gaat er nou gebeuren? Het geeft een heel onrustig gevoel. Ik had echt een gevoel van, ik wil hier weg. Ja, dat gevoel is helemaal weg. Omdat je ze nu al kent, hè, een paar. Ik moet je allemaal nog eventjes kennis meemaken. Maar uh, ja, ik heb er wel vertrouwen in uh, dat het goed gaat komen. De stairs come een part of the building and used by all. I'm the only one who take care of the maintenance and cleaning the stairs. As long as you live in this building, your duty and obligation is to take care and your hygiene these stairs, kids. Good Oh my, how are you? Ja, Samir. Doe me klein. Dan wie zijn we? Ja, Samir. Oké. Ik let you met je. Ik hoop het alles. I mean it. Dank u wel. Voor dat. Dat alles goed met je gaat. Ja. Gaat vast goed komen. Ja. Hè? Ik voel me heel verscheurd omdat ik aan de ene kant wil ik ze graag helpen. Zijn ze voor mij welkom? En aan de andere kant denk ik van ja, ik wil het eigenlijk helemaal niet. Want als je kijkt naar die vluchtelingenstroom, het zijn allemaal mensen met, met een hoofddoek om. Allemaal. Ik denk van ja. Zo wordt Nederland nooit meer van Nederland. It was before I, uh, you are right. Uh, so as you, you probably got uh, the idea, uh, how does it look like? It's not very modern, it's old fashioned, but we somehow believe that somebody will stay. Yeah, and, but you and, have and, a uh, story actually. Yeah, and watch it. Uh, and uh, it, it says a lot about how does it feel to, to have this cross-cultural cooperation and I think that you know a lot about it especially by working uh, within uh, COPAM and these organizations like uh, EBU like COPAM like CIRCOM are actually the places where we we can work together can you tell maybe a little bit more about COPAM and what you do there yeah COPAM is a um, association of broadcasters in the Mediterranean the general secretary is Mr. Claudio Capon, who is sitting here. And uh, what, what we do is we, we organize cooperation uh, in the Mediterranean. Uh, maybe you, you can tell us a little bit about it. And what, what I really appreciate about it is that you get in touch. We, we, we meet normally for a workshop at the beginning of the project in Tunis, at the Arab State Broadcasting Union. And we are from all the Mediterranean countries. And we have to work together uh, on an editorial project. So we have to work out an idea. Uh, for a series, and that's a real adventure. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Marcus. Thank you for the invitation. It is a great opportunity to say a few words about our activity. We are very close to Circum. Copeam was founded in 1996 as an association of uh, media, but not only media, other actors or, or audiovisual in the Mediterranean, and, um, and also have. Um, it's a cultural institution, administrations, uh, school, uh, cinema schools, etc. Uh, Copen is an association of uh, media players, so it's your cousin, uh, smaller, but it was funded since the beginning with a mission. It's uh, value-based, that is, the very idea of creating cooperation in the Mediterranean was an idea of uh, supporting central values of mutual knowledge, reciprocal understanding, and friendship among the, the members of the, the association. And the Mediterranean is perfect for this. Mediterranean is uh, rich in culture, history, of course, is, but it's also a microcosmos. It's a sea of diversities, of course, but also a sea of proximities, of closeness. Uh, you can see the Balkans from Puglia. 
you can see Tunisia from Sicily, for rather from Pantelleria, but it's an Italian island. And, um, and this idea that in such a diverse sea, of course, the sea of conflicts has been historic a sea of conflicts, but also may be a sea of mutual understanding. So we have been working on this for more than 20 years now. Uh, we uh, are working on co-productions, as, as Marcus said, on TV co-production. We had a, a co-production uh, project called Interive that is based on a common issue that is being developed by a certain number of different broadcasters, but very much on radio. We have two important projects on radio, Kantara, which means bridge in Arabic, and uh, Mediterradio, which is a, a co-production among the major Itali uh, sorry, <laughs> Mediterranean islands, now uniting uh, Sicily, Sardinia, uh, Kors, and now Malta. And also we are working very much on training, um, exchange of best practices, working on European projects that uh, which we participate. So this is what we've been doing. I would also like to underline that what I really and deeply think that the added value, especially in this, let's say, not very easy times, especially <laughs> for the Mediterranean and for the very idea of mutual cooperation, is that working as professionals together, I think it's also your experience, creating a community of professionals is also uh, something that is deeply human. I mean, deeply goes, we have personal relation with our members and with friends in a, among our members. And I think it's um, a, a strong antidote, if I may say, to what I see as a risk of resurrection of prejudice and stereotypes in our world and in our region. So, uh, we are continuing this task. I thank Marcus, like others, that support us in this, and thank you. Thank you very much for sharing your experiences. So, uh, we heard uh, great stories about some international projects which are, which, uh, are coming from big organizations, but can we also talk about our, that little ones on microplan? On our RTV microplan, yeah, of course. We heard earlier today from our general director that RTV is broadcasting on 16 languages. Wow, 16. It's a pretty impressive number. But uh, actually, yeah, it's, all, it's a, always challenging to actually, count them yes, all. Actually, <laughs> yes, it's a great challenge because uh, we don't want uh, our ethnic uh, departments to broadcast news that are, for instance, Slovak heard about news only about the Slovaks living in Vojvodina, Hungarians only about Hungarians in Vojvodina. We were trying to gain some intercultural dialogue to see diversity, uh, to feel it pulse, not to live one um, uh, beside each other, but to see uh, how it is when we are living uh, together. With actually, each other. <laughs> with each other, yes. So this was a great challenge that we were trying um, to, to overcome. So with the help with our friends from Deutsche Welle Academy, and of course with the young generation of journalists that we are lucky to have uh, nowadays in RTV, we started a project, this uh, youth uh, TV show called Youth Pulse. Diana is a part of this project. I love when someone is talking yes. about our show, <laughs> and me, of course. <laughs> and there was this other challenge. We wanted to keep it uh, uh, diverse, multilingual, but also attractive to a young population, because we know that youngsters are actually our future, and we have to modernize. As uh, uh, Daniela said, minority programs are not commercial, and uh, we have to gain our future by modernizing our media expression. So uh, we are permanently educating these young people and working on this. We are trying to be, uh, 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 we are trying to be presentable on web, on linear broadcasting, and uh, we can now show uh, a teaser for the TV show and you can judge if we succeed. Yes, of course, I would play it for you. I would just like to add Thank you. that um, we are here, uh, Ljubica said, uh, earlier that she c comes from a past 
and uh, you told that the youngsters are coming in the future. Yes, I would course. like to say in my name that we are like present. We are now here now and we want to do something else and uh, our youngsters want to hear and to watch something else. Yes, and uh, I have to say this project uh, also as a TV show palette that we are producing is a great way to for the majority audience, Serbian audience, see actually uh, more about the ethnic or minority context about minorities living here. So let's play it. Ciao, dragi mei! Bravo, društvo! Ahojte, kamaraci! <laughs> Nachádzame sa na Exit Festivale. Preko dana. Okrem toho, nepostávaše líder ekipy, keď či sraceni u exitovským prostore i čaše. Znači, von zna šitko. I co najvažnejšie, má iniciatívu. Pohotov, keď u društvi je z ľudzov, ktorí perší raz na exitu. Hey, ciao. Izvini, ima samo jedno pitanje. Ja sam tamo i razmišljam nikako da dođem do odgovora. Šta je za tebe umetnost? Dobro, ako nemaš odgovor na to, šta je biti umetnik? No tak. Taksik bi ima stal asi 350 dinarov, autobusova karta v oboh smeroh 130 dinarov, potrebujem ešte knjihu pre fakultu, ale... Tá sa asi dá nájsť aj v elektronickej podobe, takže to je okolo 500 dinárov. Hm, na teraz sa mi celkom dobre darí. De exemplu, în această perioadă, când zilele sunt tot mai scurte și tot mai friguroase, eu simt lipsa de concentrație, lipsa de interes. Tristețe, ba chiar și insomnie. Să mă zăvârșim, eu, să-ți vezi. Ciao, drăgă! Ok, let's stop it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm sure that you uh, heard some familiar languages in here. Actually, I think we have five of them in uh, this promo video. video. Mm -hmm. So this is like, these are entries from um, different uh, episodes of our TV show and we are just now like uh, having 20 of them in this time. So we are like continuing and we would like to do more of them. And still growing, we uh, have new colleagues from Ukrainian and Hungarian departments and planning to include some more languages in the future. Yes, uh, w if you uh, agree, I would like maybe to ask someone if, um, do you want to participate in this uh, interesting conversation? Hans, I knew that you would like to ask something. <laughs> Thank you. You know I can't keep my mouth shut. Um, I, I appreciate very much what uh, Daniela, another circumtraining experienced journalist, <laughs> um, what you have shown to us that uh, new neighbor uh, thing. And coming back to this morning's discussions, uh, how do we provide content to the audience and to which audience? I think that was a beautiful piece for traditional television. And I could well imagine, this is something I would um, ask you to do, is to make up your mind, how could you, about the very same events, the very same people, provide content in new formats, which for example, Diana knows pretty well. You would absolutely know how to make an Instagram story on that, or a YouTube story on that. You could also set up, and that costs nothing, a podcast of, uh, which is run by your stations, which could last for one hour or two, talking about the issues they have. So don't forget about this traditional way to provide content, and there will be viewers to watch that and appreciate it. But also, additionally, look for the ways the young generation and there are affected by that as well. 
the, the way they are communicating and try to provide the very, very same content in the ways and platforms where you can get them. That's not an alternative, that's an enlargement and enrichment. And I'm, I would like very much to see that the next year. Thank you, Hans. Maybe we can play uh, another video that I brought, uh, just to give a direct answer uh, to, to what you've said. You know, when we talk about the marriage, and you told me if, if uh, I will marry to you, that I will change my religion and then I will uh, begin a Muslim. No, I know, it's your work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for the, your work, you uh, change. Yeah, you I know, work, I know. But then I told you that you are here, you live here in Croatia, so you have to change your religion no, and, never. Become wow. a Catholic. <laughs> and become a Catholic. <laughs> never. Never. Never my life, my child. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know nothing. I don't know anything about the That's very Muslim. Easy. I don't know how to pray. I don't know I nothing. Show you. I didn't. I, I show never. You. <laughs> I never go in some. Uh, I go to Dubai. Show you everything. Really? Mm. You will show me. Yes. <laughs> and what if I don't want to change my religion? Okay. You want no problem. No problem. So we can be um, uh, married and without changing uh, religion. Hmm? Yes, there's no problem. Yeah. You see, Croatian girls, <laughs> they just want to get it straight. Uh, okay, so the whole project that we do with New Neighbors is also planned to be on a social media where we open space for newcomers and for locals who got uh, New Neighbors to talk about it. So uh, there is a plan, uh, the, the whole online plan, how to build uh, attention before we do linear broadcast of the series with many short pieces that will be some will be done like this this one was really easy one because they were funny I don't know something was wrong with the sound now uh, some are edited in a completely different way and then we do ask these questions on uh, social networks uh, how do you feel about it? Would you like your neighbor to come from a faraway country and so on? And then we do the linear broadcast. And then what we expect is to go and to follow some stories that we hope that will open up during uh, this online discussion. But uh, it's hard to tell how will it finish. Uh, we will finish this third season in October and we will see if it works. Now we have a website of the project and so on, so there are many things in, involved trying to, 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 to reach everything, not to, to stay only on the on old-fashioned broadcast. Thank you, Daniela. Okay, uh, well, thank you all for participating in, uh, yeah, I'm here, uh, in this kind uh, of, there is a yeah, but I'm sorry we don't have time for it, but maybe you can uh, do it later, <laughs> because we will have like um, some five minutes to prepare for the next presentations, okay? Just to be on schedule, but I would like to hear what's your question. <laughs> okay, thank you very much all okay, thank you. for participating. Thank you. Thanks.